All right, all right, all right. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Darian and Isaac here and as you can see by the title, today we're going to be reviewing some Fenty Beauty products. One of my first reviews on the Fenty Beauty line. So this is going to be a very exciting video for me. So if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you can get the alerts for when I upload new content. And without further ado, I know you guys are excited for this one. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I asked you guys over on Twitter if y'all would like to see a little video on um, a few of the products that Fenty Beauty just launched. So I went over to Sephora and grabbed some of the products. I spent about 78 bucks. And yeah, four products later, here we are. Or three products. Three products later, actually, here we are. And they also threw in a few um, GWPs for me as well. If you don't know what that is, um, it's a gift with purchase. The, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen a few looks with me using the Fenty Beauty foundation itself. I'm in the shade 440 in the Pro Filter Foundation. And last year I was a little bit iffy when it first came out about this foundation. I guess my skin just wasn't feeling it around the time, but let me go ahead I did grab the Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. Um, this retails for 16 bucks. This is the smaller one. It comes in um, obviously smaller packaging. I saw it when I was on my way out of Sephora, so I grabbed it. Um, and it is 15 milliliters, 0.5 fluid ounces, if y'all want to know that. Anyway, so yeah, let me go ahead and prime my skin and start with that. And this is my first time using this, so... Let's go ahead and see how she works. I have already prepped my skin, if you guys are wondering. So, um, be looking out for a skin pro. Whoa, I love how this primer feels, by the way. Be looking out for a skin prep video or an updated skin prep video coming to you soon. I kind of am here for it. I love that kind of tacky feel. Um, that'll give that, you know, a nice pull for the foundation. So... There we are with the primer. So let's go ahead and seal her up, put her to the side, and let's try out this powder because I'm a fan of setting the primer before I go in with foundation. This packaging is bomb. Um, I'm, I'm sure y'all have seen this a million times. Shout outs to them for putting in that extra little compartment for you to, you know, trap the powder so it doesn't fly everywhere. But let me go ahead and dump some in here. Ooh, I love that color. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit in my pores area, which is right around, okay, all right. I'm living already. Cause I can just tell by how it blended into the skin, so. And I'm gonna go ahead and go on with my foundation. Now y'all don't drag me. It's gonna show up a little orange on camera, but trust me, she blends out just fine, all right? Again, I'm in the shade 440, and I'm going to use, I've just been using this dense kind of um, foundation brush, I guess, or dense packer, whatever brush, just to kind of apply this, so. I just want you guys to get a feel of how this foundation, concealer, you know, and powder combo work for darker skin tones, especially for the males out there who don't really have that reference here on YouTube. Um, this video is really for you guys. I got the shade 385 in the concealer. I know they say you're supposed to get the shade that matches, I guess, your foundation or whatever that little lie was, but not me. I like a much more lighter concealer than normal. So let's go ahead and apply concealer under eye. Put a little bit more right now. Ooh, I love this color. That's how I know I'm starting to get better and learn makeup more because I swatched the shade that they said was for my particular foundation. But since I knew this foundation showed up a little bit orange on me, I was like, uh, -uh I'm not using that concealer for this foundation. So let's go ahead and see how this blends out. 
And then, actually, while we're at it, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Espresso to contour right under that concealer that I just laid down and a little bit on the forehead as well. Well, to me, that's a little bit. So, there is, there are the main points. <clears throat> I guess we'll put some here. They're the main points that I contour, if anybody was wondering. I'll go in with the nose contour a little bit later, but let's go ahead and start moving. <clears throat> let's go ahead and start moving out this concealer. Excuse me, guys. There's one side blended. Okay, so far. It's okay. She's all right, you know. I ain't going crazy. Alright. So, there is that concealer, foundation, and contour stick all together. Um, let me see. Let me see what we're, what we're thinking. But let me put a little bit more. I feel like my concealer blended out some of that contour shade on this side. And contouring, contouring is literally my favorite part. Besides eyeshadow, contouring is my favorite part about makeup. I just love shaping the face. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna dip back into the translucent powder. Are they translucent powders? Or the pro filter powder that I picked up. which was the shade Butter. And I'm gonna use that sponge again and just <sighs> dab it under my eye. Hmm. That's weird. I kind of see what Jeffrey was talking about. Whoa. How the powder, when you set it right under your eye, it changes color. But then, like, over here, it's different. I thought it was crazy because I couldn't really see it on camera. But, um... I mean, can y'all see that? They don't have, like, contour shades or, you know, just, like, powders like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Prime Beauty Bronzeville bronzer. I live, look at that bronzer shade. Ah! Um, these bronzers have been my go-to for a while now. Shout outs to them for sending these over. Um, don't be surprised when they creep up on you guys, but um, I really love these bronzers. So um, regardless of how I'm feeling about the powder under eye, did I set everywhere else? Um, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and, sorry, I'm just trying to make sure this is blended before I go in with the powder. All right, let's go ahead and, how many times I'm doing my today? <laughs> let's go ahead and contour. And I guess we're setting the rest of our face with this brush, which has a little bit of powder anyways, but like I said, we don't really have to set it because it dried down, so that's why I'm really not concerned with setting it. Maybe that's the same for the concealer. Maybe the concealer it just works better by drying down. I don't know. I've heard of some people who apply concealer and don't set it, and that shit looks bomb. Like, it looks so bomb. Um, shout outs to y'all, but I can't do that. I need to set it with a powder. So, it's not giving me life. <laughs> like, you know, when you lay down your powder under your eye, you usually you're just like, yeah, this is like, uh huh. Alright, just gonna keep blending. I'm afraid to use this powder under my cheeks, so I'm just gonna skip that just so it doesn't alter the foundation 
um, from here down too much, just since I'm not quite feeling it under the eye too much, all right? So, um, and I'm not going to do any, you know, crazy eye look either. I just wanted to go ahead and focus in on the base with most with most of these products since, you know, those are what the products that you are for, your base. Excuse me, I had a little glitter right there. And I didn't bring it out all the way to my neck, obviously because I'm wearing a sweater, so don't worry about all that. Uh, Scandinavia, um, the makeup setting spray. I'm gonna use some of that to set my face. All right, she might be given now, y'all, now that I set her. Let me get out my, here we go. Get out my fan and set her. All right, so now that I put that setting spray on, she is looking a little bit better, a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight and add a lip as well. I do have the Fenty Beauty uh, Fenty Glow, so let's go ahead and highlight and then I'll apply a lip and then give my final thoughts on everything that I've used so far. Is that everything? Yeah, so shout out to Jeffrey. Thank you so much for sending this over. Um, I'm living, so let's go ahead and highlight. Uh, this highlight formula and this palette is unreal, y'all. Ugh, this summer is, is on, it's on. I can't wait to walk around with this highlight on. Woo! Don't make no sense, y'all. Don't make no sense. I could have put the highlighter on for this freaking video and that would have been it. I didn't even need to put anything else. Now I'm going to just highlight extra because it's just making me feel better about this look. Okay, so. Can't forget the cupid's bow. Y'all know that's my signature. I don't care what picture you look at. I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow. So there she is. Hi, how are you? Welcome to the review a little bit on the upper upper bridge area of my nose <clears throat> nose there we go and i'm also going to add a little bit of blush so black radiance toasted almond blush they don't make this blush anymore i actually didn't see it on the site last time i checked so I'm gonna have to talk to them about it but um, there is the, you'll probably think I'm so extra for this highlight, y'all, but I'm telling y'all. <sighs> Let me dumb it down a little bit. It's just really that good. I don't know, I just like using this highlight. <laughs> Look at that, like, why Facetune? Anyway, so. All right, all right, all right, all right. I went ahead and threw on some liner and a lip. I used the, um, just some regular old brown liner from the uh, drugstore. I threw on Family Jewels from the Jeffree Star Beanie Nudes collection. And then um, the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm on top of that. Um, I'm living for this lip. I think this highlight has me living for this look now. Um, I was a little skeptical about the under eyes before, but, um, Again, the powder's not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm just living for how the foundation and the concealer work together. I mean, it doesn't look bad, I just don't care for the powder. I do like the concealer formula. Um, maybe I can do something different next time, hydrate under my eyes a little bit more. Um, I know on camera it might look a little bit different, but looking in this mirror here, it does look a little bit dry. Or maybe it's just me. I did live for the primer. I did, 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 did. I did live for the primer. If anyone's wondering, or if anyone has wondered about why people rant and rave about the primer, I live for the primer. So definitely go ahead and try that. Um, but those are my thoughts. Just want to go ahead and give my thoughts and opinions on the products for um, you know my brothers out there to have a makeup reference as far as you know darker skin tones, darker males um, using the Fenty Beauty products. So hopefully this is a not only a reference to my males of color who um, 
you know, who watch YouTube and stuff on here, but to anyone else who just kind of wanted some feedback on Fenty Beauty's latest products. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything I have, guys. Um, I didn't want to do a full blown out look, like I said, because I just wanted to focus in on the face products. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video on your way out and subscribe. Like I said, we're almost at 1K, guys, and it would seriously mean so much for us to hit 1K and beyond. So show your boys some love, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave me some comments for suggestions of videos that you guys would like to see here in the near future. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.